All right, this one is for our American audience. Hezbollah was founded in 1982 in Lebanon by the Islamic regime in Iran for the purpose of destroying Israel and turning Lebanon, what was once Christian, into an Islamic state. That same year, the president of the American University in Beirut was kidnapped by Hezbollah. In 1983, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut was suicide bombed with explosives from Iran, killing 43 embassy staff. Just a few months later, Hezbollah bombed the Marine barracks in Lebanon, killing 240 U.S. Marines and 58 French servicemen. In 1984, a CIA agent was kidnapped and killed by Hezbollah, while a restaurant in Spain was bombed near the U.S. military base, killing 18 U.S. soldiers. Later, the U.S. Embassy annex was bombed, killing 18. From 1985 to 1996, Hezbollah hijacked a commercial flight, abducted and killed Lebanese Jews and Saudi diplomats and a U.S. colonel in the army. They carried out car bombings and attempted attacks all over the world. And they bombed the Israeli embassy in Argentina, killing 29. And later, the Jewish center in Argentina, killing 85. In 1996, they killed 19 Air Force personnel stationed in Saudi Arabia, injuring 374 more. And we haven't even gotten to how Hezbollah kidnapped and murdered their way into starting multiple wars with Israel, or how they attempted dozens of bombings all over the world for the past four decades, which is why the UN ultimately called for their disbandment and demilitarization, even sending peacekeeping forces, known as UNIFIL, to keep Hezbollah in line. Now, UNIFIL is primarily funded with millions of U.S. taxpayer dollars every year and is supposed to ensure that Hezbollah is abiding by international law and not building up weapons. But instead of doing their job, UNIFIL has done nothing while Hezbollah built up a massive weapons arsenal and began attacking Israel October 8, 2023. With the money of the regime in Iran, Nasrallah created a state within a state, occupying Lebanon and terrorizing the Christian community along with other Lebanese communities. Hezbollah aren't freedom fighters, and they aren't advocating for Palestinian liberation. They're a brutal, violent terrorist group that actively slaughters American citizens around the world. When you see people in New York or Chicago waving a Hezbollah flag, ask yourself, is this really what we stand for? That's why both Democrats and Republicans have praised the assassination of Hassan Nasrallah by Israel. And if you're an American, it's why you should too. In nine days, Israel has done what the U.S. didn't do for 40 years, avenge the murder of American citizens and murders of countless others by Hezbollah. Whether you like Israel or not, the truth is the entire world should be thanking Israel for their decisive action in Lebanon.